Welcome back. It's Zion from Yukon On Demand, where we bring you fingerstyle song lessons and tabs. So we're going to cover the first eight measures of Ode to Joy here, and the rest of the song over at yukondemand.com. So join us there afterwards for more finger styles, and for all the tab for this song. So there's two ways to play the beginning of Ode to Joy. The first way, which is the way I did in the video, looks like this. Or, if you have shorter fingers, that might not be the most comfortable reach. So you can also do it like this. And we're going to go over both ways in this video. You're going to start with your common G chord, which is open G string, index finger on the second fret of the C string, ring finger on the third fret of the E string, and middle finger on the second fret of the A string. You're going to strum that once. Then you're going to pick, leaving the chord there, you're going to pick the second fret of the A, bring pinky to the third fret of the A, and you're going to reach pinky up to the fifth fret of the A string. You're going to strum this shape that you've just created. It's a G5. So that looks like this. Open G, index finger on the second fret of C, ring finger on the third fret of the E, and pinky on the fifth fret of the A. So again, you're going to strum that once. Bring your pinky back down to the third fret of the A. Then you're going to lift your pinky off to reveal your middle finger on the second fret of the A. Then you're going to lift your middle finger off and pick open A. Now the second way to play this, um, this might be a little more comfortable if you have shorter fingers, is to begin the song with a barred version of a G chord. And not a full bar, but just a partial bar. And that's to have the index finger barring the second frets of string A, E, and C, and have your middle finger on the third fret of the E string. So you would strum that once, pick the second fret of the A, her finger's already there, then instead of bringing your pinky to the third fret, you're going to just lay that middle finger flat. So it's actually barring the third fret of the E and the third fret of the A. So you're just going to pick the A string. And then here you can use either your pinky or ring finger to pick fifth fret of A. Strum this shape. And then you're going to lift pinky off. So you can pick the third fret, which is being barred by your middle finger. And then you're going to curl that middle finger back up off the A string. Pick second fret of A. And then you're going to lift this bar up so, you can reveal, so it will reveal open A. So the side by side comparison of those two is the first version. And here's the second version. Moving on into measure three now, you're going to begin with a G chord, but you're just going to pick the top three strings. So strings G, C, and E. Then you're going to pick, leaving the chord there, you're going to pick the third fret of E. You're going to lift middle finger off and pick open A. You're going to put middle finger back on and pick the second fret of A. Then you're going to strum your G chord. Then you're going to move into a D chord that looks like this. You're going to have a middle finger on the second fret of the G string ring finger on the 2nd fret of the C string, and pinky on the 2nd fret 
of the E string. Now you can if you like, if you have, find it more comfortable, you can do uh, index finger on the second fret of G, middle finger on the second fret of C, and ring finger on the second fret of E. Or you can even do a barred version of D. But in this tutorial, I'm going to stick with D using the pinky. So, after you make that D chord, you're going to pick the A string, open A, and then strum the entire D chord. So playing those first four measures a little more up to speed would sound like this. So we're going to go through it one more time, a little bit faster. So, decide which way you're going to start off with, a bar G or a typical G chord. So you're going to strum G, 2nd fret of the A string, 3rd fret of the A string, 5th fret of the A string, Strum your G5 chord, which you just created, no matter which way you've been doing it. Pick 3rd fret of the A. 2nd fret. Open A. Then you're going to pick your top 3 strings of your G chord. 3rd fret E. Open A. 2nd fret of the A, middle finger goes back on, you're going to strum your G chord, now you're going to go into a D chord, pick open A, then strum your D. So moving on, the next part of the song will sound like this. So measures 5 and 6 are exactly the same as measures 1 and 2. So whatever uh, method you chose for the beginning, you're just going to repeat that again one more time. So it's either with the barred version or the regular G chord. So we're going to play measure 5. So again, that's a G chord, 2nd fret of the A. 3rd fret of the A, 5th fret, you're going to strum your G5, back down to 3rd fret, remove whatever finger you had there to reveal the 2nd fret of the A string, and then lift your finger off to reveal open A. Next, you're going to play a G chord, but just the top three strings. You're going to pick your E string, open A, middle finger goes back to the second fret, then you're going to strum a full D chord. Now you're going to move into a G chord, pick the third fret of the E, and then pick the top three strings. So those are strings G, C, and E. So we're going to go through that same section one more time, a little bit faster. So you're going to start off with a G chord. Pick 2nd fret of A. 3rd fret of A. 5th fret of A. I'm going to strum a G5. 3rd fret of A, 2nd fret of A, open A. Now you're going to pick the top three strings of your G chord, so those are strings G, C, and E. 3rd fret of E, open A, 2nd fret of A. D chord, 
Then you're going to make a G chord, pick the third fret of E, and then the top three strings of your G chord. So now we're going to play both parts of the song together. So, starting off with the G chord. Pick 2nd fret of A, 3rd fret, 5th fret, strum a G5, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, open A, then pick the top 3 strings of your G chord, 3rd fret of E, open A, 2nd fret of A, Strum a G chord. Then you're going to make a D chord. Pick open A. And then strum a D. Moving directly into the second part of the song, you're going to again start back with your G chord. Second fret of A. Third. Fifth. Strum a G5. 3rd, 2nd, open A, you're going to pick the top 3 strings of your G chord, 3rd fret of E, open A, 2nd fret of A, D chord, then you're going to make a G chord, pick the 3rd fret of your E string, and then the top three strings of your G chord. And those are the first eight measures of Ode to Joy. Head over to yukondemand.com for the rest of the song, and for all of our upcoming fingerstyle tutorials, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.